Welcome back, I'm Jay. This is the Heads Up Show. Today we're doing another install video of a brand new product. This one is the Shut Splash Shield. This is something that I have never put on a helmet before, but I saw it done, and I think that I can figure it out just fine. So this is designed for the people who are a little bit concerned that going back out on the football field during a time of a pandemic isn't exactly the smartest thing, but not the dumbest thing either, and you want a little bit of extra protection. Uh, I would not be surprised if we see some leagues or conferences or teams requiring this. We've already gotten reports from some conferences that are mandating visors to be worn, uh, and this is just the next step of that. So this is designed to make sure that when you're talking or when you're huffing and puffing out on the field, that this stops some of the transmission of particles so it doesn't get over everybody else. And when people, particles are coming to you, it's one more thing that can stop it from getting, uh, from you inhaling it. These are disposable clear pieces of plastic that basically are gonna go on just like so. They attach with Velcro. Uh, and like I said, they're disposable, so they're not meant to last an entire season. I'd say they're probably more meant to what last about a game. And depending on conditions within that game, you might have to swap them out in the game. It's hard to say, or you might get five or six games out of it. It really depends on the position, how you play, and how things are going. Uh, but we're gonna show you how easy it is to put these on. It comes with a piece of long strip of Velcro here. You're gonna need a pair of scissors, and we wanna cut these things, depending on the type of mask uh, you're gonna be wearing. We've actually got a Speed Flex mask over here that already has one on it. You can see right here. And the bars on this mask have a smaller diameter than the bars on this Shut F7 that we're gonna be putting this on. So we're gonna need pieces that are a little bit longer. I'd say about an inch, inch and a quarter if you're putting something on the Speed Flex and probably about an inch and a half if you're putting one here on the Shut F7. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda of wrap it around, which I would strongly advise. And then you just wanna have a little bit of And that's gonna be our length. And then we're gonna cut these So there we have it, eight even pieces. The two in the front, upper front, we'll call it. Just feed this through and then wrap it around. Really pretty self-explanatory. And then pull it as tight as you can. Strap the Velcro on there and move on to the next one. Put this guy on here, see how it fits. So there we have it. I will say, you know, some of the feedback that we're getting by people who haven't tried this yet is it's gonna fog up and yeah, put a little rain X on there or some something like that to, to help out. That should, you know, start to help fix that problem. Breathing is gonna be potentially an issue. So you're just gonna have to get used to it. We hear that with people who wear visors as well. Um, but this is something that it's gonna do what it's designed to do, which is to inhibit the spread of germs coming out and germs coming in. Is it gonna stop at 100%? No, most likely it will not, but it will stop it better than not having it there at all. So if you're looking for a little bit extra to put on your helmet so you feel a little bit safer out there, whether it's a Shut F7 
or a Riddell Speed Flex or any face mask. These can be uh, made to fit just about anything. So we'll have links below where you can go pick these up. Uh, you get a three pack, they are disposable. So if you wanna get through the entire season, you're probably gonna want more than just one pack of three. But try it, see how you like it, and then you can come back and get more if you need more. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell for more videos like this. Until next time, cheers.